There is a disease out there that's not only downright miserable, it can be deadly too, but doctors in Houston have come up with a new kind of miracle pill that has so far cured 90% of their patients, completely changing their lives for the better. So what exactly is in this miracle pill? Poo. Yep, you heard me right. Stephanie Whitfield shows us how it works and exactly what it's curing. C. diff is an infection that's unpleasant to talk about. It's even less fun to get. Seven months of, of diarrhea is, <laughs> I mean, you know, what can I say? <laughs> it's the pits. That's why patients with the chronic infection are lining up for a trial treatment. They're taking poop pills. The clinical name is FMT. The idea is the good bacteria in healthy stool fixes whatever's going wrong in the gut. Before you start doing research, how is that done? <laughs> and where does it come from? <laughs> it comes from stool donors. It's really stressful. Like Shiki. Uh, it's right here. In a UT Health lab, the samples are mixed with saline, filtered twice, then freeze dried. They put this into the capsules. As crazy as this concept sounds, the craziest part is doctors say it works. 90% cure, nothing else cures those patients. Dr. Herbert DuPont says it all boils down to the microbiome or bacteria in the lower GI tract. And the list of diseases associated with an abnormal microbiome goes from obesity uh, all the way to AIDS. Although these work, these pills aren't the answer. Doctors say they want to isolate the key bacteria and produce an advanced probiotic. But for now, researchers rely on three thoroughly screened donors who deliver stool samples every day. This donor is also a doctor. When you learn the medicine, you want to benefit the patient, and that's part of my goal. More than 150 patients have been cured after one dose of 10 pills. It wasn't like a trip to Disneyland. <laughs> But, <laughs> you know, but that roller coaster ride that I was on ended in a positive way. The research so far has been so successful. The FDA has given this team the green light to expand their study to include Parkinson's disease, fatty liver disease, which is linked to type 2 diabetes, and irritable bowel syndrome. Stephanie Whitfield, KHOU 11 News.